Well, it is the last Friday of Hispanic Heritage Month, but the celebration is not over yet. We're sitting down with the first Latino president of Manhattanville College, Dr. Frank Sanchez. Dr. Sanchez says his Mexican roots have strongly influenced his career in higher education. CBS 2's Zania Maldonado has his story. Dr. Frank Sanchez began his term as the 15th president of Manhattanville College this summer, the first Latino to hold the role. It's pretty extraordinary. It says that Latinos today, we're becoming much more ubiquitous. We're everywhere and we're influence, influencing our society in so many different ways. In his office, you'll find many pictures of his family. My mother's maiden name was Betis uh, Perez, and here's a picture of my grandmother. Sanchez was raised in Wyoming and has deep ties to his Mexican heritage. His mother hailing from a migrant farming family. Sanchez says both of his parents overcame adversity to obtain college educations. And his belief in the power of education drew him to what he does today. A big part certainly was my family, my parents. My mother was born in uh, Mexico. Uh, one of nine children, parents had a third grade education and she was able to get an associate's degree and raise four kids. My dad actually dropped out of high school, uh, became a Marine, uh, leveraged that experience to get his GED, and then started at a community college, transferred to a four-year institution, got a bachelor's and two master's degrees. In 2021, Manhattanville College was recognized as a Hispanic-serving institution by the U.S. Department of Education due to its 39% Hispanic population. Students, Sanchez hopes can relate to his background and know that their dreams, too, are obtainable. I share that story because it really highlights the power of education, how it can transform not just individual lives like my parents, but generations after. And to think uh, in one generation from a mother who is a migrant child and a dad who dropped out of high school because of education, they now have a son who's the president of one of the most storied higher education institutions in the entire Northeast. From Purchase, New York, Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News.